Hi. Oh, hi, knock, knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? Owl. Owl who? I will be so happy when this program begins. Oh, me too. Let's begin. Oh, <laughs> Miss Emily Butterfly here. I'm so very happy to welcome all of you to this year's Life is Living Kid Zone, where we're celebrating women of the Black Panther Party. That's right, on the territory of Huchin, the ancestral and unceded lands of Chechenyo-speaking Ohlone people and the confederated villages of Lashan. We'll be learning a lot from this book today and all of our guests. And first, let's welcome Manny Lieris. Manny is of the All Nations Drum Group. He is a native educational specialist, singer, father, and activist who lives in Huchin, otherwise known as Oakland. Mm -hmm. Manny is proud to live in a city deeply rooted in systemic change and activism. Welcome, Manny! Okay, here we go. Ready? Dancers ready? Family ready? All right, here we go. Aw, Touche, that was such a beautiful song. Aw, thank you. Touche, did you know that there were musicians in the Black Panther Party? This is Joan Tarika Lewis. Mm -hmm. She is a musician and violin player who helped train new recruits. Aw. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Our next guests are musicians as well. Iwalani, also known as the Sunflower Linus, is a musician, songwriter, and music producer. She performs for all ages, and she helped form the musical duo Everyday Party with our beloved ancestor teacher, Auntie Monica. 
Monica was a loving teacher and musician. She was a fearless activist and leader. She led with bold, wise, and graceful power. We remember teacher Auntie Monica as we celebrate with Iwalani and Everyday Party. What's up, Life is Living? What's going on? My name is Iwalani. I'm so happy to be here with y'all today. And thank you for being a part of this special movement and this special day. This year for Life is Living, we honor the women of the Black Panther Party. And I'm so happy to be celebrating with you. This song is dedicated to those women. Fighting for their children, so tired of assault on black people. Really had enough. Time to make a difference, it's time to stand up. Regenerating hope, broadening the scope. Organize the collective so the families can cope. Think of a better future, a better way. Working out plans to create a new day. Say, free UA, free UA, yeah, free UA. All power to the people, hey. It's time to change things, change the narrative too. Black women in the party made the party run true. Took care of all the children, feed the people, feed them food. That's why we take this day to express our gratitude. They nurture like mothers, protected their brothers, uplifted each other, protected, took cover, rallied, formulated, coordinated, demonstrated, breaking the mold. Black women are gold. It's a new day, a new day. It's a new day, yeah, a new day. All power to the people, hey. Say free UA, free UA, yeah, free UA, free UA, all power to the people, a. power to the people. Let's go. Thank you. As behind me, what you can see is a mural in the city of Oakland, in West Oakland. And this is a mural that was executed by an artist named Rachel Wolf 
Goldsmith, also known as Wolfpack, um, who's an artist, muralist, and activist. This mural is a celebration. It's a celebration of the women of the Black Panther Party. They serve the community. They serve the children with power, with pride. Thank you, women of the Black Panther Party. Thank you. We love you. We see you. We honor you. I'm also very, very honored to be able to share a dear friend of mine. Their name is Monica Hastings Smith, otherwise known as Teacher Auntie Monica, otherwise known as Mo Clearly. They were one of my best friends, and they recently passed this year, 2021. Um, it's devastating to our community. You know, they were a teacher. They were a leader, a cultural preservationist, a mother, a brilliant songwriter. She was a matriarch, and her presence is felt throughout the city of Oakland and beyond. She inspired me and so many other people through her gentle grace. So let's take this moment to honor our friend and sister, teacher Auntie Monica. This song coming up is her original song called The Roots Are Strong. Be blessed, everybody. Hey, Genti, what is happening? I'm so happy to see you. I am teacher Auntie Monica and I am Mo Clearly. My musical perform uh, personas have crossed paths, they've intersected today. Um, I'm going to sing a song that I wrote called The Roots Are Strong. Uh, it's about mm, just what it says, how strong our roots are. It's a reminder, a super positive song to remind people where they come from, that we're strong folks, our families, our cultures, our, our land. Um, we're strong. We need to remember that. Um, just when you think you can't do any more, uh, when the winds have come, just remember we're gonna we're gonna hang in there. We're gonna do. We're gonna be just fine. So positive song, even when you're not feeling positive, sometimes you sing a positive song and really make you feel better. So here we go. The roots are strong. If you know it, sing along.
Oh, yes, knock, knock. That drumming makes me want to dance, too. <laughs> Did you know that one of the members of the Women of the Black Panther Party was a preschool teacher? That's right. Uh-huh. Her name was M. Gail Asali Dixon, and she was the preschool teacher at the Oakland Community School. And our next guest was a former preschool teacher as well. Her name is Michael Hemingway and she is a children's librarian at the West Oakland Library. She loves to serve children and the community of West Oakland, empowering people by focusing on children's literacy. Michael is inspired by the women of the Black Panther Party, just as we are, because it's a movement that honors female power and resistance. Welcome, Michael. Hi, my name is Michael Hemingway, and I'm the children's librarian at the West Oakland Public Library. And I'm so happy that I get to read some books for you for the Life is Living Festival. The first book I'm going to be reading is called Standing on Her Shoulders, A Celebration of Women. Standing on Her Shoulders, A Celebration of Women. By Monica Clark Robinson and the art is by Laura Freeman. Come sit with us, child. We have stories to tell. Listen closely. You come from a deep, deep well. Our mothers and all those who've gone before paved a freer path and opened a wider door. There's surely still plenty of work to do but there's much to learn from what they went through. For we are standing on the shoulders of strong, smart, sage, and soulful ones who have gone before us. Think of the one who mothers you. She is with you, even when you are apart. You are forever a piece of her heart. Speak her name and the ones who came before her, generations strong, their words sing of grit and love, your family song. You are standing on their shoulders. Think of the legends whose lives made way for yours through years, though years have passed, each story, each name endures. When you speak their names, they live on in you. You are standing on their shoulders too. Freedom seekers, truth speakers, fierce women, brave and wise, justice burning in their eyes. Warriors in the fight, marching for their right, believing in a day when women would have a say. Champions of equality, challengers of authority, peaceful freedom fighters, brave and bold bus riders, magic believers, dream weavers, revolutionary minds, their works echoing through time. Leaders of a new team, Dreamers of a new dream, women fighting for their right, athletes of grace and might, speak their names. Keen and curious explorers, refusing to take orders, women who dare to defy, showing girls another way to fly. 
we are standing on their shoulders. When we remember them and speak their names, we respect the struggles they overcame. We are grateful for the freedoms they've given. We stand on the shoulders of powerful women, women who were little, one, little once. Just like you. When we speak, whisper, sing, and shout their names, we honor their lives and the rights we gained. We are all standing on their shoulders. Who will stand on yours? The end. The next book I have is The Undefeated by Kwame Alexander and illustrated by Kadir Nelson. This is for the unforgettable, the swift and sweet ones who hurdled history and opened a world of possible. The ones who survived America by any means necessary. And the ones who didn't. This is for the undeniable, the ones who scored with chains on one hand and faith in the other. This is for the unflappable, the sophisticated ones who box adversity and tackle vision. Who shine their light for the world to see and don't stop till the break of dawn. This is for the unafraid, the audacious ones who carried the red, white, and weary blue on the battlefield to save an imperfect union. The righteous marching ones who sang, we shall not be moved because black lives matter. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unspeakable. This is for the unlimited, unstoppable ones, the dreamers and doers who swim across the big sea of our imagination and show us the majestic shores of the promised land. The Wilma Rudolphs, the Muhammad Ali's, the Athea Gibsons, the Jesse Owens, the Jordans and the LeBrons, the Serenas and the Cheryls, the Reese Whitley's, and the Undiscovered. This is for the unbelievable, the we, real cool ones. This is for the unbending, the black as the night is beautiful ones. This is for the underdogs and the uncertain, the unspoken, but no longer untitled. This is for the undefeated. This is for you and you and you. This is for us. The end. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for joining me. 
I hope that you come visit us at the West Oakland Public Library. We're open for our pre-pandemic hours and I'd be happy to see you and give you a bookmark. Be sure to stop by. Bye. My goodness, time sure flies when we're having fun. <laughs> As we're nearing the end of our program, I would like to celebrate some of the legendary women of the Black Panther Party. Barbara Easley Cox, Asada Shakur, Kathleen Cleaver, Charlotte O'Neill, Angela Davis, Afeni Shakur, Elaine Brown, Joan Kelly. Legendary ladies who have contributed to the highest health and well being of humanity. Another legendary person who's contributed to the highest health and well being of humanity is my friend Lance McGee. He is a trauma informed wellness consultant, drama therapist, and mindfulness coach at Oakland Middle Schools. When not providing trauma-informed wellness support throughout California, Lance wears his other hat, <laughs> bringing humor and joy to all ages as a professional clown known as Unique Dariq, mm -hmm. a Bay Area fixture whose dual careers merge the performing arts and healing with his belief that the world can be a brighter place, one breath and one laugh at a time. Please welcome Lance McGee and Unique Dariq. Hi everybody, Unique Derek here. Hambo. Hey. Thank you, thank you. Some of you may know me as Unique Derek, and some of you may know me as Lance McGee. Here we are at the historic Oakland, California, Defremery Park. And the reason it's important for me to have this tribute honoring and celebrating the women of the Black Panther Party was because they were the nurturers. They were the backbone. They were the ones that I remember who provided the food as a child when I attended the Black Panther Party School or the Oakland Community School and received those nurturing breakfasts. So I want to tribute and honor those who have passed on and saying thank you and that we don't forget or I don't forget. So I have here this altar that I want to acknowledge and I put the foods here that I received like oatmeal, that warm oatmeal starting off with a hot breakfast to start your day ready to go to class, apple juice, the egg, and apple. These were things that I remember having for breakfast. And so we say thank you, we say ashe. And I also want to acknowledge that the women of the Black Panther Party demonstrated perseverance, sharing in the community even when it's hard, working with limited resources, working with limited resources, and we say ashe, thank you. I also want to acknowledge the faith, the faith in the community to serve those who maybe didn't have resources and that to help keep the faith to bond together in that community, and we say ashe. The leadership that those nurturers provided and shared, those women were the backbone of the party. And we say thank you for your leadership, for your guidance, for your strength. We say ashe. And we say thank you for all the love, unconditional love through the nurturance, through food, through building community, through coming together, the love and nurturing that I experienced and felt through the breakfast program, through the school, 
I say thank you for that love, and I give back that love. And we say ashe. Thank you. And now I want to share with you the beautiful art form called Hambone, an African-American art form of body percussion in remembrance of those enslaved Africans who were not allowed to play that drum. They too had the leadership. They too kept the faith and they persevered, making something out of nothing. And so this is my tribute to the women of the Black Panther Party. Hambone. Oh yeah. Hambone, Hambone, where you been? Around the world and back again. Hambone, Hambone, what's your groove? The women of the Black Panther Party served that food that I got to eat and do my thing and feeling good from the love. Thank you, thank you. And thank you to those ancestors from serving that food and nurturing and the guidance and being that backbone. I see you, I recognize you, I acknowledge you. But wait, everybody, join me. I want to show you where the location was right here in Oakland where I received those nurturing breakfasts. So come along and let's go see it. Well, here we are, right here, the former Black Panther School, also known as the Oakland Community School, right here in the deep roots of East Oakland. Through those doors, that's where I attended school. I think I was in fourth grade where I received the hot breakfast before school that got me ready to go to school and go to my next class and learn and feel nurtured and loved. I took a trumpet class in here. I was learning about music. You could take karate classes. We did exercises before breakfast. And there was a peer-to-peer -peer group to help you problem-solve issues that might come up in class. And a lot of those influences today are being practiced in the Oakland Community Schools. Restorative justice, mindfulness meditation, all of these things we did here. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the women of the Black Panther Party. Thank you so much. You were so influential and so powerful. And I appreciate you and will always hold that in my heart and remember. Knock. Did you have something else you want to share? Knock, knock. Who's there? Owl. <laughs> Owl who? I will be happy if you let me know where I can get one of those books. Oh, <laughs> of course. Friends, this beautiful book that I've been sharing throughout the program was produced by my friend Jill Christina Vest of the West Oakland Mural Project. Mm -hmm. The artists that made these beautiful images are James Shields and Krista Lang Turner. The entire beautiful book was advised by Erica C. Huggins mm -hmm, and Angela de LeBlanc, Ernest. And you can find this book at 831 Center Street where the mini museum is located. It's also Jill Christina's house. <laughs> Let's go visit Jill Christina right now and find out more. Hi, Life is Living. This is Jill Christina, and I'm here to show you the West Oakland Mural Project. I'm located at my house in West Oakland, which is on the corner of 9th, which is now newly named Huey P. Newton Way, and Center Street. This is my house behind us. It's 831 Center Street in West Oakland. And if you just cross the street, look at this. The whole side of my house is a giant mural. And it's all dedicated to the women of the Black Panther Party. How cool is that? If you come by in person, you can see all the names on the side of the house. You can see all the symbols on the side of the house and I can explain them to you. 
You can get activity books here, those activity books that are so cool and they're dedicated to the women of the Black Panther Party. And you can also go to the back of the house, which has another super cool mural all over the back of the house. This one's dedicated to Sandra Bland. And it says, beautiful queens and kings, know that somebody loves you, know that somebody cares about you, and we believe you can go out there and do great things. Happy life is living, everybody. Mwah. Well, friends, this has been such a lovely program. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> and it wouldn't be complete without a cattail. <laughs> friends, thank you so very much for tuning in today. Let's give a round of applause to all of our presenters. Let's give a round of applause for the Women of the Black Panther Party activity book. Let's give a round of applause to everyone who helps produce Life is Living. Now, I would like to invite you and your family to come visit Town Park at 18th and Adeline in West Oakland on Sunday, October 24th, between 11 and 1 p.m. I will be there handing out free books from the West Oakland Library. The Attitudinal Healing Collective will be there giving away amazing art kits. And the Crucible will be there giving away some magical surprises. After you pick up all your treats for free dollars and free cents, you can flutter on down Mandela Parkway to go visit the West Oakland Mural Project at 831 Center. That's where you can get a free mini museum tour and get yourself one of these activity books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope you have a very good day, friends. And again, thank you so very much for tuning in.